Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this RL circuit and as you can see, it is excited by the step current. So here we have been given that at t is equal to 0 minus this inductor current IL is equal to I0 divided by 5. So here we have been asked to find the minimum time which is required for the current through the inductor to reach the 99% of its final value. So here we have been given that at t is equal to 0 minus this inductor current IL is equal to I0 divided by 5. So at t is equal to 0 plus also the same current will flow through the inductor. So we can say that here this IL0 plus is also equal to I0 divided by 5. So similarly now let us find the current through the inductor at t is equal to infinity. So in the steady state condition as you know the inductor will act as a short circuit and therefore this entire current will flow through the inductor. So we can say that at t is equal to infinity the current through the inductor or this IL infinity is equal to IL. So in this way we got the initial as well as the final current. So with the help of this initial and the final value we can easily find the time which is required for the current through the inductor to reach its 99% value. But for that we also need to know how the current through the inductor varies with the time. So here the given RL circuit is the first order circuit and as you know for the first order circuit the current through the inductor can be given as or this ILT can be given as this IL of infinity plus IL of 0 minus IL of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by tau where this tau is the time constant of the circuit or in this case this tau is equal to L divided by R. So here we know that this IL of infinity is equal to I0 and similarly this IL of 0 is equal to I0 divided by 5. So let us put all these values and let us try to find the value of the T. So here we need to know the value of the T when this inductor current is equal to 0.99 times I0. So from this equation we can say that this 0.99 times I0 minus I0 is equal to minus 4 by 5 times I0 times this e to the power minus t divided by tau or we can say that this minus 0 0.01 times I0 is equal to minus 4 divided by 5 times I0 times e to the power minus t divided by tau. So if we further simplify it then we can write it as 1 divided by 100 times this 5 divided by 4 is equal to e to the power minus t divided by tau. Or if we take the natural log on both sides then we can say that this ln of 1 divided by 80 is equal to minus t divided by tau. That means t is equal to tau times this ln 80 where this tau is equal to L divided by R. So here the value of L is equal to 1 milli Henry while the value of R is equal to 10 kilo ohm. So that is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 second or we can say that that is equal to 0 0.1 microsecond. That means here this T is equal to this 0 0.1 microsecond times ln 80. So if we calculate the value then this T will come out as 0 0.438 microsecond. That means this is the minimum time after which the current through the inductor will reach the 99% of its final value. So from this we can say that for the given question this time t is equal to 0.438 microsecond.